it's Lisa and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome and please don't leave and please subscribe. But either way, welcome. Today I am doing another monthly favorites video. I've been having these videos go on for so many months consecutively. I am so surprised. Can you guys please leave an emoji of like a shocked face or like a dancing queen emoji? Because I just feel like, oh my God, this is something to celebrate. But anyway, here we are for another month. I actually don't even know what month. July, July. I'm like, what is the month again? So we are now doing July favorites. And as usual, I have jewelry favorites, I have beauty favorites, and I have home favorites. I'm not gonna keep blabbing on for any longer and just gonna get the video started. Okay, so for the first category, I'm gonna go with jewelry. Guys, I am so happy because if you guys watch my Majuri favorites video, this was on my wish list and I got it. So I am now here to officially review that it is so good. First of all, the one that I wanted was the bold hoops, if you guys can remember, because I have been looking for an earring that is 100% solid gold for my first piercing because I have studs, but I just felt like the studs were always very small for my first lobe. So I wanted a more statement-y earring for my first lobe that was solid gold and still versatile enough so I could wear 24 seven and I finally got it. So this was on my wish list. If you watch my majority favorites, this one honestly does live up to the hype. If you guys saw it in the comment section, a couple of people actually said that they have the bold hoops and they love it. And honestly, after wearing it for a month, I am so in love. First of all, I don't ever have to take it off. It's super secure so it doesn't fall off. And three, even though they're hoops, they're small enough that it doesn't bother me when I'm sleeping. It also doesn't catch my hair or like, I don't know, whenever I have hoop earrings, I just have this anxiety where like if someone tugs it and like it just, you know what I mean? Like has it actually happened to anybody because I don't know why, I just have this irrational fear that that might happen. These are super good because even though they're hoops, they're still small enough to wear every day. So I definitely recommend. And as usual, I have 10% off of Majuri. So if you guys want, you guys can click my link below and get 10% off your bolt hoops as well. The second jewelry item that I wanted to mention was a pack of three rings that I got from Bobble Bar. These three rings are also gold, but they're gold vermeil. And yes, I took your feedback from last video. I know it's vermeil and not vermeil. This is actually 18K gold vermeil. This is just in the stack of three. I'm just gonna show you each ring individually. It comes with this one bold one or bolder. This is kind of like the size comparison between the Majuri Bold Hoops and the Bobble Bar one. This is the thickest one that they give me. I'll show you what it looks like on as well. And it comes with two thinner ones and it actually works really great because I layer it with my Majuri dotted one. So I layer it twice or I can spread it out, but I've just done it like this today. This one is the other bold one that they've given me. So this is the size comparison as you guys can see from the Majuri one so I just kind of play around with this I either like stack it like this sometimes or I'll even stack it here it doesn't really matter either way it looks really good so this one comes in a stack of three and it is for May so you do have to take it off at night the style of the ring I love and after wearing it for a month now I really like it I might upgrade by getting the solid gold versions on Majuri just because I've been liking the Vermeil ones so far it doesn't bother me that much yet because at night I take off these other gold Vermeil rings anyway so might as well take off these new bubble bar ones I've also left a link down below for these bubble bar rings as well okay so the next section that I want to go to is beauty so I have three beauty items for you and I'm very excited the first one I wanted to share is actually my nail glue and if you're looking at me like what do you mean your nail glue this is the nail glue that you can get from your nail salon and the reason why this is my favorite and I just like forgot to mention for so long is because it honestly saves my life so if you get any type of manicures or if you also get gel or shellac like me and your nail chips this is honestly gonna be such a lifesaver you can ask your nail lady for it and buy it off of her my nail lady sold this for two dollars i'll also see if it's on amazon and i'll leave a link down below if it is but basically like i'll give you an example 
This nail recently broke and until I can see my nail lady, I had to glue it back together because the other option is you just don't do anything and let it fall off naturally and that really hurts. One day I was like, honestly, like I just need to get the nail glue from you so at least I can like hold the nail in position until I see you next. So if you guys already don't have one, you need to buy this off of your nail lady and it will save you from so much pain. The second item that I wanted to talk about is this toner by Lancome. This is what it looks like and as you can see, I've used it all this month so I've already used quite a bit of it. This is such a big bottle, it is like the size of my face as you guys can see. The reason why I like this toner is because number one, it focuses so much on hydration. It is very, very hydrating. The number two reason is because it's also anti-aging. I know I'm still young but I am starting early, okay, because I don't want to look back in 10 years and be like I wish I started anti-aging a little bit earlier so I'm starting now this one I just really like it because if you're one of those people who don't like to use toner because it's too liquidy and it seems like water then this will be for you because it's a lot thicker than your regular toner and it is definitely a lot more hydrating I feel it when I put it on my face I mean it also works the reverse like if you like your toner to be super watery then you might not like this but I find that this is actually easier to use on your fingers rather than the super watery ones. So usually with the super watery ones, I like to use a cotton pad. But with this one, because it's already kind of thick, I don't have to use the cotton pads as much. So if you are someone who is looking for a toner and don't typically like the watery consistency, then definitely check out this one. The third beauty item that I wanted to share with you guys today and I am also wearing is Magnetic Lashes. The one that I have on is actually just from Amazon. So after getting served like a million ads about magnetic lashes, I finally decided to give it a try. I didn't go with the brands online just yet because I looked at their price points and it is quite expensive. They're about like $40 per set of lashes. I went on Amazon and I got this pack of one, two, three, four, five. I got this pack of five and there's also the ones I'm wearing right now. And these ones were super cheap. They were only 20 something dollars. I definitely recommend these magnetic lashes because instead of using glue, you're actually using eyeliner and the eyeliner becomes magnetic and you put the eyelash on and it will directly stick on your lash. Another reason why I like this so much more than just gluing it on now is because it does not hurt my eyelashes when I peel it off. That's another really good thing about them. I feel like the only complaint I have is that the possibility of the lash lifting is very easy, especially if you have hooded eyelids like me. I feel like if you don't, then this is not going to be a problem at all. But for me, because I have hooded eyelids, if I put on eyeliner, a lot of the times the part that's hooded kind of comes off because of just like oil, water for my eyes or something so the possibility of it lifting is a little bit higher I find that the only way to kind of solve this issue after using it for a few times is two things number one when you put on the eyeliner you need to let it fully dry like I'm talking about a hundred percent dry and then the second thing is you can't put it too close to the corner of your eye unless if like I said you do not have hooded eyelids then whatever do whatever you want and lucky you but if you do have hooded eyelids like me then definitely try putting it a little bit further I feel like these ones are already lifting a little bit but I put them closer to the end rather than towards the corner of my eye if you haven't tried magnetic eyelashes I highly recommend it's honestly such a game changer and it is quite cheap compared to some of the other ones I've seen especially if you buy off Amazon so I will leave a link to the ones that I have I got so many questions on my Instagram whenever I did Instagram stories last thing I wanted to mention is also you don't see that white glue so a while ago I was talking about how you can glue your eyelashes underneath your lashes if you're doing regular glue but this one you can still put over top and it still won't have that really unnatural looking so as you can see this one's like like lifting a little bit but I've also been wearing it all day this one is better and as you guys can see from the top it still looks very natural so we're kind of going through this really quickly but now I have two home items for you the first home item is actually a home decor item and this one is the vase from H&M and honestly guys out of all the vases I have and I have quite a few vases actually I think I have about like 
five or seven. This one is by far my number one base. And for a while it was sold out on H&M, which is why I never wanted to mention it because I don't like mentioning things that you guys are not gonna be able to buy. It's like, what are you doing? You literally have one job. So it finally came back online. I'm gonna leave a link down below and you guys can buy this vase as well. It is so cute. And because of how neutral the color is, it really does go with everything. And since my furniture is all white and this is more of like a beige color, it still goes with all the white furniture really well on top. The second home-ish item that I got is literally, guys, I'm not even joking. It is literally the number one purchase I have made, I kid you not, in my entire life. I have never purchased something where after I tried using it, I was like, I literally would have paid so much more money for this, but I do not regret a single penny I spent on this. It is a fabric shaver. It's kind of like a fabric slash lint rolling shaver thing, but this is what it looks like. And basically, we all, like, I don't care who you are, but you have it. We all have clothes that have the annoying little, like, pilling things. And it makes our clothing look so old. And I feel like one of the items that always have the pilling is the back of your leggings or something like that. So anyway, I don't care who you are. Like, if you're a guy, girl, like... If you're a fetus, you literally have this problem. And this is gonna solve so many of your issues. And also, it is fun to use. Like, I, after I got this, I would actually go and search my entire wardrobe and look for clothes that have this. I even low-key wanted clothes to start having the pilling so I can use it because it's so fun. But basically, the blade is actually just inside of this. So you put the clothing in and you can literally just like rub it all over and it will cut out the fabrics. And I don't know if you can see from here, but you can just pull this out and get rid of the lint that accumulates. So here I already have a little bit that I've accumulated. It is honestly the best purchase because it solves my problems and it's also fun. So I will leave an exact link of the one that I have down below, but there are so many on Amazon now. I'm sure you can find any fitting one, but this is the one that I found that was also cheap and is also pink. So that's why I went with this one instead. But obviously like just in general, just get a fabric shaper, okay? They are amazing and you will not regret it. I promise you. That was pretty much the video for today. I I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I'm a little like woo today because usually I take ADHD medication and today I'm a little bit off my medication. So that's kind of why I'm like a little bit all over the place. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope to see you guys in next one's favorites. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.